It looks like theater of the absurd, but the events portrayed are all too real. In a traveling production of the play, Two in Your Home, Russian theater company Teater Dok dramatizes recent events from the life of one-time Belarusian presidential candidate Vladimir Nikolaev. Pending trial for his role in post-election protests, Nikolaev was placed under house arrest with two KGB officers monitoring his every move. When the play appeared recently in Prague, director Mikhail Ugarov explained how the company's style of documentary theater helps share actual events with the public. Nikolaev received a two-year suspended sentence and is no longer under KGB surveillance. And while the play depicts events in Belarus, Ugarov says the story is particularly relevant to audiences in Russia, where anti-government protests have been gaining momentum. Ставя этот спектакль в Москве с русскими актерами, мы, конечно, думали прежде всего о России. Мы ставили спектакль про Белоруссию, но разгов... а зрители-то русские, актеры русские, режиссеры русские. Мы как раз об этом, потому что развитие такой сценарий белорусский, лукашенковский, я не знаю, он возможен в России или невозможен. Вот эти, эти темы волнуют зрителя, когда в Москве он приходит на этот спектакль. At the performance in Prague, Czechs said they too were worried about the fate of the Belarusian opposition. Yeah, but I know how the situation is with uh, Lukashenko, how is the, uh, how he's uh, uh, treating people over there. And I just don't, don't agree with what he, he's doing and I think should change, you know. He's anyway last dictator in Europe. Theater Doc is also focused on events closer to home. Its play, One Hour and 18 Minutes, was based on the writings of lawyer Sergei Magnitsky, who died in a Moscow prison in 2009 under suspicious circumstances. As Russia's March 4 presidential election approaches, Ugarov says Teatr Dok is taking on an ever greater role in Russian society. Потому что информация происходит абсолютно недостоверная, манипуляторская и э, живое человеческое искреннее слово. Вот сейчас только что мы делали э, одноразовые спектакли. Это люди, которые отсидели 15 суток после э, митинга на чистых прудах. Это э, Илья Яшин, Петр Верзилов и еще двое людей. Полный аншлаг, туда невозможно было попасть, хотя все понимали, что это не увеселение, не развлекуха, что это будет серьезный разговор. 